G'day, my name's Stu Andrews and I'm the Never Was Been. Started out at prop, graduated to number eight and finished in the centres. You can call me the Rugby Man. I think it's fitting to introduce the Rugby Man in this the first video. It's a piece where I give out my overbearing and stark opinions on rugby. It's Aussie flavoured and my purpose is to share the joy and to promote conversation. That's it. Alright, first off the ranks. I'd like to point everyone who doesn't know, which wouldn't be many people, about the Rugger Matrix podcast. It's at, at ruggermatrix.com. You can listen to one of the best rugby podcasts around. These guys, they know their stuff. They've been involved at the highest level of Australian rugby. They've had some fantastic guests in the first podcast. You get to listen to Ewan McKenzie and Lottie Takiri. And it's very interesting. It's, it's a good insight into, into these guys' characters and how they work at that uh, in in those upper cloudy lofty places so go and get the podcast ruggermatrix.com you can get it from the website download you can listen to it from the website or you can get it through iTunes all right second Johnsy Andrew Johns he's helping out the sharks I think this is an excellent idea it's, he's, he's going to be a great talent he's going to be a great resource for them I think uh, not to be inflammatory or anything but I think he is a better man for having such highs and such lows in public eye. I'll talk about that in later videos about my, my opinions about uh, the hypocrisy that runs rife through Australian sport. But for now, Johnsy, all the best with that. Uh, I hope you succeed in every way in all your endeavours, all the consulting work you're doing. Um, it's got to be a fantastic gig going around and giving out your expertise. Awesome. All right, third, what's going on at the force? All the double talk, all the negativity. Uh, like, you know, publicly coaches getting denounced, pulled down, dragged over the coals. I mean, the press has a lot to answer for, but, but when something is in the press, you can guarantee that there are strong and stronger undercurrents going on in reality. I used to believe what players said in the press, in the you know, on the websites, into the papers. I used to believe what the coaches said and the management. But over the last few years, time and again, you see a player one week, he'll be completely committed to a club. Completely. He will, you know, he, he'll write in blood. He'll talk about it, talk it up all the time. And then the next week, he's off to another club. Now, sure, there are circumstances beyond our control. Um, and sometimes it's not, it's just money or a whim, a family, whatever it is. But it has now, I think, alleviated us, the public, of the need to believe. We have to take everything with a, not just a grain, but a whole you know, bucket load of salt. So I hope they clean things up at the force. All right, number four, Oilsy is captain of the Brumbies. Big kudos. Uh, it's got to be a hard job, but he's, he's a fantastic player and he's a smart bloke switched on um, it's a good move uh, he's going to have Mortlock and Smith on his side helping him out I uh, can't speak too highly of Smithy he's our favorite but um, all the best Stephen in your endeavors and in the with the team all the best to the Brumbies all right and moving on to the Super 14s uh, you know my ultimate hope and I'm sure everybody's is that we want to see good rugby. We want to see awesome plays, the skills, you know, beyond mortal ken. Uh, we want to see ticker, ferocity. You know, we want to see people smashed in a good way. That's what I want out of the Super 14s. I want all the Australian teams to win. I want the Brumbies to regain their supremacy. I want Smith to chip kick down the side. I want the Tars back in the final. The Reds have such a proud history. Man, you had eels. Oh, anyway, I won't go into it. Make it proud again. And for the force, certainly have the talent. But out of all of them, all four of the Aussie teams, um, I'm not convinced that there's a serenity at the force. Obviously, there's not. There's something weird going on. And regardless of what everyone says to the papers, um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope that they can pull it out and uh, bind together as a team because that would be awesome. And, and it is uh, a sign of a good team in today's world that, that are bound together, that are friends, but, and not just to the papers, but in reality. 
And if you're watching this, I mean, think about how your team operates. Um, yeah, that's a good team. So, all the best to the Aussie teams in the Super 14. I want to see some fantastic rugby. Uh, yeah, watch, there's some great players. I mean, they're the best players in the world going around. If uh, anyone like Will Carling's listening to this or watching it, uh, let's talk about the best players. But, uh, and that was, I think I watched one of your your video casts, Will, and uh, you completely disregarded the Aussies, which is probably fair enough, but um, not in my books. I'm a diehard. All right, thought for the week. Back in the subbies, I played for the sheer joy for the adrenaline, for the ferocity, for the hit, uh, you know, for the joy and the fierceness in an eyes, in the eyes after a win. So my question to you is why do you play rugby? Thanks. This is Stu Andrews, the rugby man, signing off. See you next time.